Well, it is all everybody's talking about today on social media. It's the first thing I saw on Instagram this morning, the northern lights. If you looked up in the sky last night, there's a good chance you saw flashes of bright colors across the sky. This was thanks to a rare weather condition that the commonly known northern lights were seen in many parts of our country. News 19's Nate Stanley spoke with a man who took some incredible photos of this cosmic event. And you realize how rare it is and that this potentially is a once in a lifetime type deal. Friday night was one Mitch West says he'll never forget. He was one of the many in the Midlands that witnessed the Aurora Borealis over the state. I've checked on X social media one more time and saw that somebody was seeing the Northern Lights in the Bahamas. So I was like, okay, if they're seeing it in the Bahamas, sure enough, you can see it in South Carolina. So got in my car, got here around, I would say 930 ish. He made it to the Lake Murray Dam where he captured these photos of the sky all with his iPhone 15. It just escalated, started getting brighter and brighter in the sky to uh, to the point of what shows in the pictures that I posted. Dozens of WLTX's weather watchers also spotted the lights, posting these to social media during the light show. Wes says seeing the lights puts a lot in perspective. It's just beautiful what you see. God is good and just painting a show up there is just absolutely amazing. And I think really to wrap that up, it's just the fact that you see something that you only see in movies. And with the possibility of the lights returning, he has this advice for people who want to capture the magic for themselves. You need to get to an area where, you know, not as much light pollution, you know, and things like that. Like you don't want to try to look forward in the city where there's a lot of light. And just be patient. Pull out your phone and, and play around with the camera settings and enjoy the show. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, if you happen to take any weather-related photos like this man did, you can post them, like Nate said, on our WLTX Weather Watchers Facebook page. And you might just see those photos right here on TV.